Hi guys, good to see you again and I hope you enjoyed the little video that we had for you earlier on. Um, today I didn't plan on reviewing the Land Rover. Um, I know I've done one review, I promise you guys that I'll give you an update on how it's doing. This is not it but um, you know something happened today on my way to the farm with the Land Rover and I wanted to bring it to you. But if today is your first time um, coming across this video here, this is a farming channel. Generally, we are talking about livestock industry in Ghana, how to move to intensive and the proper way of rearing livestock um, in Africa in general, where we share our experience, knowledge, mistakes, and learnings with all our family here. But as a farmer, I wanted a reliable car. So I went in for the new Land Rover Defender and i gave my first review when i was so excited and 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 willing to try it out and so on i promised the family i'm going to give you an update after about three to six months just to really give you my experience so far and if i'm facing any difficulties the pros and cons with it as a farmer using it on an everyday potholes everyday rough road not a one-time off-roading but every single day you know if, if the shocks are able to absorb it and so on and so forth but today i was driving to the farm right and um on my way to the farm i saw a station a station a small yard and I saw about three Land Rover Defenders, old types, you know. So I, I questioned myself. I actually drove by and then saw it and I was like, oh, what is going on? So I pulled back and then went to the station and there were about three Land Rover Defenders. I mean, different, different years. But I asked them what's going on and they said, this is a farming station. Basically what that means is that the community is a small town with maybe about 5,000 population but majority 99% of them are farmers and their farms are located deep in the forest therefore the road is very bad when it rains only few selected cars can actually transport them to to their farm during the rainy season it is actually the time where the farmers need to get to their farm to plant their crops so that is when the Land Rover defenders come together in that community because of the nature of road that's the kind of car they need in the community to be able to transport them i was so amazed by the collectiveness and the understanding of this the, the you know of this durability need right most people buy the land rover and say yeah because you know i need to travel with it and so on but these guys are saying during rainy season the road is so bad that we need a defender to carry the women from the town to their farm in the forest so i said what is what an amazing way and the best way to actually have a defender to be able to do that you know and i think it really made me value what i've purchased and ask myself again like will this new car be able to do what these guys are doing and that's a challenge that i'm setting for myself um i think i need time to go there but and and actually go to the farm with them pick some farmers in the car i tried to do that but you know it wasn't all planned so i couldn't do it well but i'm gonna go back to that community and pick farmers with them drive on the same road and drop some farmers in their farm i think it will be amazing for them to to see the difference and the comfort from um traveling to their farm in such a luxurious car and comparing it to the old defender that they've been using to the farm and this and also test if our Land Rover will actually survive the road that these old ones are using. But it was very amazing. I mean, I met the guys. I stored the station actually has a signboard of the Land Rover Defender. So if you want a quality car to go to your farm and make it there safely and sound, you need to come to this station because they have the best cars. And it's, it's just it's just amazing amazing you won't find this anywhere except in in ghana and in africa where the need meets um the reality on the ground and we are making good use of it and i think land rover needs to see that is to see how people are utilizing um, the durability product that they brought to the market i hang out with the guys they were very excited they didn't know that the new version existed they were actually asking me what kind of car is it i explained to them about the transition and the model and they were very wow you could see all of them taking pictures very happy we, we really bonded and they were very pleased that 
you know, I, I could come down to earth and like, you know, interact with them. Even though I couldn't pick some farmers, but I'm promising you that we're gonna, my team and I are gonna go there and we're gonna record, pick some farmers and really experience what um, the experience on a day-to-day -day basis with the farmers are. And I thought it would be nice just to share this experience with you guys um, and, 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 and let you know what I found today. But this is not a review so far. I've actually hit about 5,000 um, kilometers on my new ride. Um, so I will bring you an in-depth um, analysis. Now they're, they're, they're getting the cows inside, um, but I'll definitely bring you an in-depth analysis. So guys, I mean, as I said, we just um, arrived at the farm this morning. The Defender is still looking good. I mean, as you can see, it's, 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 it's looking good. It's been surviving. Um, I love how it's working and you know, it's doing what it's supposed to do. So, so far, so good. I'm happy. Um, and we are at the farm here, so we have to start work. I need to get dressed and start working. So, um, yeah, but if you have any question, anything, let me know. But I promise you, I'm looking forward to a video where I'm going to load about, I don't know, that defender I saw was taking about, I think, 10 farmers in that small defender. So uh, I'm looking at how many farmers I can fit in the whole defender and take them to their farm. I think it will be an amazing time with them. Uh, if you're watching me again from Ghana, you know we have an old lady in the village who goes to farm. I'm sure you will definitely um, know how much appreciative and the difference that's going to be. So that's going to be an exciting video. Stay tuned. If you haven't watched um, the first video, I'm linking it here. You can go ahead and watch it. Um, but thank you guys for staying and I'll always bring you the best of the best.